Hey everybody, welcome to this packed hands-on computer vision with PyTorch. So I'm your author, I'm Tom Joy. And so I'm a current PhD student at the University of Oxford. And really my current interests focus on two types of models. One's normalizing flows. And then also I'm also interested in variation autoencoders. But generally kind of my research follows the big main interest of learning exactly how neural networks work and why they learn things the way they do and also what kind of underlying features are going on. So let's have a quick look at the course overview. So in section one, we're gonna have a gentle introduction to deep learning, why we want to do it, and also computer vision. Section two, we're then gonna jump straight into building our first neural network. Now this is gonna be a very simple neural network. And what we're gonna do is effectively just classify digits. So there's gonna be photographs of drawings of digits, so zero through to nine, and we're gonna build a, what's called a classifier. So a neural network that's gonna classify each input image and say, is this a zero or through to a nine? We're then gonna look more at how neural networks learn. So what are the mechanisms that we set up to allow neural networks to learn and how do we train them? Then in section four, we're gonna move on to convolutions. So CNN is effectively a convolutional neural network, which are very common neural networks and you'll use them a lot almost exclusively. Then moving on to section five, we're going to look further into key components of neural networks. So there's some features that are employed in neural networks that effectively allow for better training and better accuracy. Then in section six, we're going to look at saving neural networks and also how we can import and export data. So how we'll load images to the network, etc. Section seven, we're then gonna start looking at more applications. And this is gonna be a really cool one where what we're gonna do is we're gonna take the style of one image, so like a painting, and we're gonna apply the style of that painting to a content image, okay? So you imagine you take a photograph of the outside or some photograph of some scene, and then you want to apply some sort of painting style to it, like pointillism, et cetera. Then in section eight, we're gonna look at something called generative adversarial networks, which effectively is just a type of neural network that will just generate or create realistic looking images. So some super cool examples coming up. Don't worry, it's very simple, or we go through it all very slowly, and I'm sure you'll all be fine. So prerequisites. So you should have a basic understanding of calculus and linear algebra. So just high school maths, you know, you should understand differentiation and gradients. And then you should also be able to understand things like matrix multiplication and vectors. So some experience with Python is kind of really required because we will be coding things quite quickly, but you really don't have to be an expert. You know, maybe you could have just done 10 hours or 15 hours. So know kind of how the structure of Python works and you'll be absolutely fine. So deep learning is a very large topic, you know, Thousands of people are spending lots and lots of time researching it and kind of thinking about what exactly is it, what exactly it's going to be, and how exactly it works. So there's still a lot of unanswered questions that people just don't know. This video is basically designed to equip you with all the relevant information that's been discovered over the past five years, such that you can now be kind of up to speed and up to scratch, and you can participate and contribute to this community. So I do encourage you to perhaps go above and beyond what this course offers you. You know, you should be taking the examples of each section and modifying them and seeing how you can adapt them to your own applications and perhaps go further. It would also be important, I think, to spend more time looking into the theory and the maths that underpin them. You know, a lot of the time in these examples or in deep learning or machine learning in general, there is a lot of heavy maths that underpins them and is basically algorithms are reliant on this math. And it is probably a good idea if you can go away and just sit down and try and go through it. And it will take a while because a lot of it is complicated and it takes a lot of time to effectively pin these ideas in your head. But once you've got them, you'll then be in a much better position to quickly adapt and move on to new things that come out in the next few years. So without further ado, I think let's get started.